right, let's take a look at some tips for a general Indian accent. Uh, one might even call it stereotypical Indian accent, but go all the way for it and then you can pull back on it to make it more authentic. So you put your tongue back all the way in the back of your mouth and you imagine that you have a, an egg in the back of your throat. If you imagine you have an egg in the back of your throat, your, your uh, tongue comes back and down. So you're, you pull your tongue back and down like this and you hear that first sound change right away, that pull, pull, pull. The P sound, pull and push, almost sounds like a B. Do you hear that? There's not a lot of um, air coming out of the mouth for pull and push. It's pull, push. Also, you hear that vowel change, that pull, push sound, that uh, uh sound becomes pull, pull, push. Give that a shot. There's this very slight VW exchange so that the woman was a vet becomes the woman was a vet, the woman was a vet. It's not the woman was a vet or uh, the woman was a wet. It's somewhere in the middle and it's very, it's a, give that a light touch. Give tapping the R's a shot for your Indian accent. So, um, I took my daughter for a treatment. I took my daughter for a treatment. The O diphthong, that combination vowel sound, that O sound for old and no, in your Indian accent will become more of a pure single vowel sound. So no, old, give that a shot. So what's the musicality of this accent? There's an upward inflection at the ends of the thoughts as you notice. There's also a darkness to the sound because the tongue is so far pulled back in the mouth but listen to some native speakers and uh, investigate it for yourself. Maybe you'll notice some other things about the musicality and, and you'll get to know a little bit more about the Indian people by the way they communicate.